Hey there, Soul Shines. It's Michelle here, and it is Things We're Making Thursday. Things We're Making Thursday. Things We're Making Thursday. Yeah. Things We're Making Thursday. Things We're Making Thursday. Things We're Making Thursday. Yeah. Things We're Making Thursday. Things We're Making Thursday. Things We're Making Thursday. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. It is Thursday. Another Thursday. Today is May. 5th. First, hey, I'm just recording a quick thing to insert here after I finished. I said it was May 1st. I'm recording this on a Wednesday. It will be coming out on May 2nd. So, we are finishing up the April Tunisian crochet and we're moving on to the May projects. So before we get talking about that, um, if you're new here, my name is Michelle. I live in Utah. I have a family, six kids a daughter in love and two grandkids. So it's pretty awesome. Uh, I love to knit and crochet. And if you like what you see here, I would love it if you would hook that subscribe button, like the video and leave some yarn comments in the comments. <laughs> um, so just to be official and say I did something in Tunisian crochet yesterday and today I whipped up official leave projects. So here's my leaf. Okay. That's one of them. Um, this one I was figuring out on my last video. So I'll link that up here, right above Millie. Um, I will link that up there so you can go check out what I did. And then um, the original that I followed for how to do it is in the description. So that's one that I'm putting with my rose to hook into my centerpiece if I ever get anywhere with it. Let's hope I do. Um, I'm starting to get some of my um, making energy back and stuff so that's exciting. And then I did this morning I tried out the other kind of leaf. So this is the other one. It's very fascinating how this yarn that has the different textures shows up in this but there's that one I really like this one actually I I didn't think I would but because of the way the yarn is it just has extra fun dimension to have the two combinations like that the combination of the stitch pattern with the um, yarn pattern uh, so I'm gonna also link a tutorial for that kind of leaf below. So if you do want to go do Tunisian crochets, be sure. Oh, I'll also link my a link to last week's to, um, things we're making Thursday video, so you guys can go check that out too. If you are interested in how I did this, because I did it slightly different than she showed, and um, I talk about that in the last video. I kind of. It was a not quite a tutorial, almost a tutorial last week. All right, so I'm just gonna put these here next to me in case I, I changed up my background. I wanted my plants. I love my plants. I wanted my plants over. I don't know if I can show you. So I have this one that's got a beautiful sprout out there. I've got two up here um, that have all of the yummy goodness going around in them and it's awesome so I did move things over got started moving going through my books I have a pack stack of stuff I skipped because the bottom shelf is pretty much empty right now because gotta work on that but that's not about things for my kid Thursday so um I went I had my daughter go down and I was just like go bring up something that's 100% cotton a, that I can make a dishcloth of and I might bring two or three so she brought up a color that's a little bit more rosy than this and she brought up a red that I'll show you in a second and she brought up burgundy and I was like okay yeah you picked all the colors that I wanted to make clothes with um, I don't know if I have enough to make clothes with them but I'm gonna keep them around just in case so um, I took the red one so this is Hobie um, Rainbow Cotton. It is a size one weight cotton, 100% cotton. These are 50 grams, I believe. Yep, 50 grams. The color number is 86. 
because that's how that's how they roll. So um, I found some knitting needles. I'm just using my bamboo ones because they were here. And I started a dishcloth. I'm using fat needles. I want it to kind of be loose because I'm just playing around with what I like for a dishcloth. Will I like this? I don't know until it's made. Um, one of my problems is I like, I think it's partly what I was raised on. My mom used to get these disposable cloth things that she would use over and over until they'd fall apart. That's what she used for dishcloths. Um, I've seen them, so I know they're still available. And that's what she used, and they're very thin. Um, so that's what I grew up on. And I prefer like um, some thin stuff. However, I have made some knit some dishcloths with the um, regular kitchen cotton stuff. And those were okay because they're knit. Um, they had a little bit of give with them and things like that. So I didn't mind them. So I'm trying out with the one weight yarn to see if I'm going to like it. But I only cast it on a few and did like a few rows just before I come in here to record it to say I started my dishcloth <laughs> this month for May. Oh, it's still got the little tag that Hobie has. I love these. It's a center pull tab. I think all yarn should have those on them. That's just my opinion. And I'm sticking to it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to make this, see if I like it. If I like it, I'll do some more. So I thought I would hurry and cast that on. I don't even know what size these are. Probably like four millimeter or something. Five millimeter. So I'm using five millimeter knitting needles with a wet weight yarn. So it's gonna be very loose and so we'll see how that goes. And then I have some two weight yarn. I might try as well to weight cotton just to see if having a thinner cotton will be more appealing to me. We'll see. Anyway, is that everything? I don't know if that's everything. I guess it is. Um, remember, oh, remember, okay, first of all, I do have some more things to say. I knew I did. Down below, you will find, like I said, the links to this. Um, I might find a dishcloth tutorial and link in the description as well. I'm just going based off of memory since the last time I made one. So I might not be making it exactly the same, but I will find it uh, a tutorial and put down below in case you need it, want it, whatever. Um, so I'll have the tutorials, I have three tutorials down below or yeah, they're all tutorials. Um, and down below you will find the little blurb that I got from um, somebody in the Things We're Making Thursday. It has the Facebook group um, link in it so you can go join the Facebook group and say, hey, this is what I'm making this month or whatever. Um, it has the list. Uh, this month is May. May is household items. Household items, it's a very broad category. Uh, a person could be working on their blanket and call it a household item. They could be making dishcloths, tass, hot pads, cravettes, cravettes, not towels, trevettes, <laughs> I mean, not towels, towels are, I, I admit, ties. <laughs> you could make, oh, hey, uh, you could go and get my towel toppers. Um, I will link the playlist for that in the description as well if you want. If you're interested, I have my towel toppers. There's a dress one and a scented hat one. Those would be perfect for this month. Um, you could make doilies. You could make pillows. You could make, you know, decorations for your house. To me, that's a household item. Um, oh, I know once they made, uh, somebody had like a Swiffer mop and they made themselves a loopy uh, yarn thing that they stuck on so they could wash it and redo it. Um, uh, Jada and Stitches, she just has like this square thing that you use like blanket yarn and you make a dusting cloth. I've done that before. Or you can have, find a dust mitt pattern. Um, 
You could do hanger, decor, you know, like how they used to put things around the hangers. I know some people still do that with plastic. I know it's not easy to find the metal ones, but the metal ones, we used to do the like macrame um, hanger things with the little pom-poms. Best childhood memories, you know? Um, so there's so many things that you could do. Um, I think it's one of the most uh, open and uh, available months for just picking pretty much anything and so that's this month and then there's a list of the rest i take off like the months that have already passed so i just taken off um tunisian crochet and so may through the end of the year is listed um all the plans for the themes for the month and of course we always like to well thank j hook magic um for creating the song that we all get super addicted to. Um, the one that just goes in your head. Things are making things, but things are making things day. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We all do it. We all do it. Um, anyway, so all that stuff's down below. Um, there's a link tree down below that has, if you click that, it opens up a thing that has a bunch of links in it. And it's got um, a link to my Facebook group. It has a link to my Discord. It has a link to my Instagram, to my Ravelry project, our profile. Um, I th I'm going to, I think I'm going to put my wish list in there eventually. Because I had somebody like, I want to buy you a pattern. And I'm like, that's just the opposite of what's supposed to be happening right now. I still appreciate it. It was awesome. And I finally was like, I don't know what to pattern to tell you. Here is my wish list. And then she chose what she wanted to get off of that. And I thought I could put my pattern or my wish list on my link tree. Then if any of you are feeling generous, it's there. And you can be like, oh, she wants this pattern that's on Ravelry. Get it. Okay. Um, anyway, it's enough about that. Uh, there's, what else is in there? Etsy shop. My Etsy shop is linked there. So there, there's, there's just some different things there. So you can go look at that if you feel inclined to. I don't know if there's anything else to say. So now I'm going to say, remember to let your light shine through your creations, whatever they be, crochet, knitting, something completely different. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.